Hey guys, welcome back to my kitcheting. It's me, Ella, and this is another crocheting chat. Right? Yeah, that's what I call it. So here is my baggy <laughs> uh, suggested topics. I said that word. Alright, let's just grab that. First, let me tell you, I'm working on my giant octopus. <laughs> I haven't been working on anything at all this weekend because I've been uh, running around with Devin and Jesse doing Easter things. But it is Monday now. April 2nd, Jesse is taking a nap. Um, I have his baby monitor right here, but the signal's lost. So I'm gonna sit here and work on his octopus for his birthday and chat. <laughs> I'm restarting his baby monitor to see if it'll connect better. Alright, the one that I got out is by my Pugful Life Crochet uh, in the question or whatever. <laughs> is my favorite patterns and designers and why. Okay. It's no secret that everybody knows that I love Made by Mary, which is Mary Smith pattern. She makes the giant amigurumis that I've made a lot of. I've made the bird, the koala, her Santa, uh, the elf, the bunny, the Easter bunny, did I already say that? I think that's all of them I've made so far. I have plans to make more. I also made, she made a um, bat pattern, I made it. Uh, she has a Harry Potter character set and I made all of them. Oh, that's that paper, I don't know what that was. Um, I gave that to my sister, she's got that at her house now. But it was all the little Harry Potter characters. And Hagrid actually entered him into the fair and won a ribbon with him and I won a ribbon with her pattern for the bird. It's just like a bird, I can't remember the pattern name. I'll pop it up. Uh, she's one of my favorite designers. I love any pattern she comes out with. I have a whole list of them on my wish list. And I have a list on my laptop of um, all the patterns I want to get from her. So if she has a discount code or a free code, I can see what patterns I don't have yet that I can go ahead and grab. And my one of my other favorite designers excuse me, is Heidi Yates, which is another, you know, everybody knows that. <laughs> I love her flag patterns and um, I'm probably going to leave my bunnies up for a while because they're still springy. But I love her pack, pack, flag patterns and all of her hats and just every pattern she makes is awesome. I have a ton of her patterns. It, it doesn't help that she gives away patterns constantly. She gets she has coupon codes all the time. I shared one recently, I think last this last weekend, it expired yesterday but it was a free coupon code and a 75% off the rest of them. Which is really good. She always has good deals. I just, I love how colorful and adorable both of their patterns are. They, they kind of resemble each other, I think, like their style. I just, I love their big toys and stuff. They're just cute and good for decorations. And I love her, like I said, Heidi Yates flag patterns. I want to make all the flags. I've got a lot of them made. And I, want, I hope she makes more, like designs more patterns. I'm sure, oh, it's my neighbor's washer spinning out. I didn't know what that was. I'm sure it would be pretty easy to, des to design your own flag because they're very simple patterns. I mean, you can make a flag in one setting. Because they're super quick. They're usually made with a H, I, or J hook, so it flies by pretty fast. And they're all made in panels. Those are definitely my favorite designers. I love a lot of designers, but those are my two go-to ones. I'm always looking at their patterns and I have a ton of each of their patterns. I'd like to have all of their patterns. As for favorite patterns, I said patterns like a lot of times. I have a few go-to patterns for things like um, there's a slouchy hat. Can you exactly remember who makes it? I think it's Tamara Kelly. I think that's her name. And it is the all grown up slouch, like striped slouch. And it's a hat that I made a bunch of. I made some for myself. Devin, the hats that he wears in the wintertime are those. And I made a lot and sold them to people that he works with because they liked his hat. And I've made slouch versions and non slouchy versions for my mom. She doesn't like the slouchy hats, so I made her one. Using that pattern, I just did less rows to make it not slouchy. Uh, it's a really cool pattern. It's reversible. It can just be 
one side just looks like stripes and one side is like a textured stripe that looks really neat. Uh, I have a few blanket patterns I like making for gifts. Like, I always, I uh, like the easiest ones, granny square, just a basic granny square blanket is a good gift for like a baby. Or the midwife blanket, because it's really fast to work up and it's cute. And there's another one called, I think it's the baby, it's like love and prayer or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I want to get and pop it up. I've made a couple of them. I think they're really cute baby blankets and you can easily change the the repeat number to make it bigger or longer, however well you want to make it. Uh, I made Jesse one before he was born and I made um, another uh, person that I know, she had a little girl, made her one. I was actually working on that one when I was in labor with Jesse at the hospital. Other than that, I mostly just try new patterns constantly. I love amigurumis. I love making all kinds of little toys and stuff. And I love making things that I can use around the house, like decorations or just functional things. Like I love having afghans laying around. I have one over there. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's my purple one. That was the very first afghan I ever finished. So I keep it always. <laughs> and um, dish cloths, I like using them. Um, I just like functional things. I want to make more. I want to make some of those duster things. And I'll make one of those that you put on tongs that you clean through uh, blinds. We have a lot of blinds here. It's an apartment, so they came with the apartment. <laughs> I don't know. I just I like making a little bit of everything. I, ha I go through um, what is it? Like phases of wanting to make different types of things. But lately, I've been on amigurumi kick. I just love making little amigurumis. I think they're cute. Ooh, I finished one round. Right now I'm just doing straight rounds, so it's making it, you know, longer, and then I'll decrease it. It'll be a big ball waiting for the tentacles and all that stuff. And check on Jesse. He's just sleeping. I don't know if you can see him in there. Got all his stuffed animals. I gotta clean that sturdy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw another one real fast since he's still sleeping. He's been asleep for about 20 minutes, so he may wake up soon. Alright. This is from Grace, which is GV Maltese, I guess. Um, she said she had a lot, so I split hers up in a few. Because she, she asked a lot of questions in one comment. So, the one, this one is, Have I always lived in the town that I do now? And what are my favorite things to do in our area? Okay, I have not always lived in this town, however, I have mostly lived here. I grew up, I was born and raised to like a 10-ish year old um, in a neighboring city, like literally the next county over. Uh, and then we moved into the county off of that up until my dad died and I was... Um, 23 when he died and then we lived <laughs> in the next county there's four counties like in a square which is where my sister lives which is next to this county uh for a little while and then when i met Devin, i came back to sparta we had lived in and off in and on and off in sparta for a while kind of going between the four counties <laughs> so we lived in there's like four counties in a square and i lived in each of them a lot of my life but for the last five years, six years, I've been in Sparta. Well, a little bit longer than that, actually. Um, other than when we were pregnant, we didn't move in with my sister because we needed to be able to save money and stuff. But I've basically lived here. I mean, I've, I've even when we didn't live here, we were here. You know, we came here to shop, and all of my mom's family is from here. So I've pretty much been here my whole life. Even though I wasn't born in Sparta, I do uh, claim it <laughs> as my hometown, and probably always will. Checking on Jesse. <laughs> um, and the next part is favorite things to do in my area. Well, there's not a lot to do in my area. <laughs> the The only thing there's a lot of, if you like doing it, is hiking. 
this whole area that I live in, pretty much most of Tennessee, is big areas for parks and hiking, which I love. Me and Debbie used to go hiking all the time. We haven't so much since Jesse, but uh, we're hoping to get back into that soon, and we're hoping to get back into fishing soon. We didn't get to fish out all last year, which stinks, because we love fishing. I even went fishing when I was nine months, nine months pregnant. Um, and then when I got done fishing, I would just walk up and down the river trying to induce labor. It didn't work. He had to be forcibly taken out. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of hiking, lots of waterfalls. Tennessee's really, you know, known for waterfalls and in this area that we're in is real big with caves. And we, and we enjoy all that. We love all the outdoorsy stuff. We love going to parks and visiting different parks that we've not been to. But th there's really not a lot of entertainment around us. Like there's a movie theater in the neighboring town and there's a bowling alley. <laughs> but there's not a lot of entertainment. So a lot of the, our time is spent shopping. Like we'll just go to the different stores and walk around. And, um, or like you might have noticed with me and Devin, we take road trips a lot to bigger towns near us, like Nashville or Knoxville or Chattanooga, which are usually an hour plus away. But that's where we can go to craft stores and music stores. And Jesse's awake, so I have to cut this one short. <laughs> but, um, see if it comes in here. And, uh, yeah, we, we like to just travel to neighboring cities and do stuff in them because it's a lot more fun than our area. And now that Jesse's getting older, it's a lot more fun to take him places too. But he's whining, so I'm going to have to hop off of here and go see him. This is a very short one, but <laughs> I can't help it. He woke up, so I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you got a little bit of work done. I got one and a half rolls done. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.